Okay, so in this lecture we will discuss about Power BI filters. So we will see uh, the three different kind of filters that we can apply uh, into the visualizations or into the reports. So one is the visualization level filter, page level filter and report level filter. So as the name suggests, the first one is for visualization uh, level report. That means we will uh, uh, apply the filter which which will be for specific to the visualizations and then uh, we will uh, apply a page level filter so it will be up uh, then in that case it will be for the dashboard or uh, the filter will be applicable to all the visualizations in a single page and the last one is the report level filter where the filter will be applied to all the pages in in the report so these three things we will see so first of all let me open uh, uh, the uh, the dashboard or the report that we created so you can see here this is the sales dashboard uh, report so i just double click on that and then it will open uh, in power bi desktop so we should be able to see whatever uh, the visualizations we saw in our last demo so on this basically we will create another page so I will just click over here uh, let me so if you'll see here uh, I will just click on this plus icon where you can add another page so I will right click on this and we will rename it so suppose I will say filter example and uh, so in this page first of all we will add couple of uh, our uh, um, visualizations and then we will see uh, how we can uh, apply the filters on that and another important thing is that uh, i'm using the same data source uh, whatever we saw in the previous demo so we have the same same sales data which is which we are retrieving from excel the next video probably i'll show you how we can retrieve from uh, sharepoint and then we can do those examples now on this basically i will uh, uh, add one pie chart so if you'll see here i have added one pie chart here and i will apply one more i will say uh we can take uh, probably this funnel one oops we have to click outside so i will click here so you can see here now both the charts i have added here now when we are adding this uh then we have to configure this so i'll go to the first one uh, so we will configure let's say so this is a funnel chart so on this basically suppose i will give the product name and the quantity let's say we will give that way so this this is how it is appearing and the second one uh, for the pie chart we can take uh, probably uh, the customer customer name and uh, i will tell uh, the same quantity or the total cost something like that or we will take uh, uh, we will take uh, i will take the units deliver one so i'll click on these values so if you'll see here we have the customer so for this customer what is the um, a number of units delivers that that it will show in this report so now what we will do is we will see how we can apply the filter on that for example uh, if you will now look at this I have not selected any visualization and in this case if you see here it is saying filter on this page and filter on all the pages and if I will select a particular one then you can see here uh, another option which is saying filter on with these visuals and it has the columns which we have selected or the fields which we have added and then uh, then uh, uh, the filters on this page and filters on the on uh, the other all all pages that's how it is appearing so now uh, for example in this case uh, I, I just on select everything and I will just select the first one uh, the second one uh, in fact the customer name and the um unit delivers so this one and on this if i want i can just click on this and you can see here you can apply the filter for example i want to see 
the data from Conros and HCL. And uh, so if you'll see the report now, this uh, visualization is displaying uh, the data to me from this uh, uh, condition. You can also click on the unit deliver and then you can have a, if uh, let's say the unit deliver is less than five. So you can apply that filter, you say apply and you can see here you don't have uh, something which is there satisfying the condition. So if I'll put a greater than and I'll say apply, you can see here you will be able to see the condition over there. So because 38 units has been delivered and here 12, so it is obviously greater than five. So um, that means I can put these conditions or for example, if I will say now it is uh, 15. So I'll say apply filter, you can see here, you'll be able to see only one because only uh, this is from Conros or HCL, both of them only one is which is delivering uh, greater than 15 order. So this is for a particular visual label filter. I can select this. In fact, I can add some more filter here and you can see always there is basic uh, filter and then there is advanced filter also. So in the advanced filter, you have contains, doesn't contain, start with all these things are there based on the data type that it is there. So if it is a dead time field, maybe you will be, you will be see different options. So you can apply those filters as well. Now this is about a single filter that we have applied. Now imagine we want to apply a filter for both these uh, visuals. So in that case, we can have a filter on this page. So how we can do this is you can drag a column. So in this case, for example, um, I will drag a column. I will just simply out here. I will uh, take a column or let's say I will take a customer name. So you can just drag and put it here. So when we are putting it here, uh, you can apply the filter and it will apply to both these uh, visuals. For example, if I'll select HCL, you can see here all these things related to HCL, it is coming here. This is blank because there is this, the filter that we have applied, it is not satisfying the condition. If I will select Conros, then both the things you will see because here, uh, according to our filter, and with that, if I'll, if I'll actually remove this filter, I will say select all, I'll, I'll remove this filter. Um, then we can see all these uh, all these options over there. So I will select, uh, if I will just, so you can see here, if there's a clear icon is there. So if we'll put the clear icon, you will be able to uh, clear this filter over here. So you, so I'll, I'll just remove the customer name here and I will uh, put again the customer name here. So, So now you can see if, if the filter is not working or something, you can just remove the column and you can add it again. So it will come back. And here if you'll see now, uh, now our, uh, um, you can see here, this is a page level filter. So if I'll select multiple things here, you can see here both the reports are affecting. And uh, if you will put any filter, you can see here why it is showing three because it is coming from this page level filter. So you can, let's say you select, uh, everything or you will not select anything. You can also see at the visual level filter how it is appearing. So let's say you will put here, you can see only the visual level uh, filter is, uh, uh, is applying there. So this is how you can check both. So you can see here on this page and also there is a filter which where we can apply for all the pages. So in that case, what we can do is, for example, I will add here the product name so if you'll see here in this case the product name i have added for this particular uh, uh, filter which will apply for all the pages and if i will select desktop you can see here it is applying for both the things as well as if i'll go here you can see here it is applying for the other page as well which is and uh, which is there in the uh, sales dashboard page so if I will uncheck this, you can see here, you'll be able to see all the data here. So that means, and, and also 
um, in the product or in all label pages you have the same filter options you can have the basic advanced thing you can search so you can select multiple these kind of things we can do easily and not only one column filter you can add multiple filters also so this is how and you can anytime you can just uh, uh, click this icon which will expand and collapse this filter uh, box and uh, so this is how we can uh, apply filter page level filter all page filters and visual level filter also make sure when you are selecting visual label you can just select uh, the, uh, the the visual and then you apply and one more important thing also we need to remember here that if we by default these two columns are coming customer name and units deliver if you want to add multiple you can see here i'll put the location here and if i'll say select bangalore you can see here to bangalore only this ts info customer is delivering 63 units so you can see that also and if you'll say canada you can see here it is coming two more fields so that means you can apply these filters not only to these two columns which you have selected to other columns also from here you can check so this is how you can work with filters and you can uh, put your conditions by using the uh, basic filtering or you can use advanced level filtering so this this way we can check the filters